Good morning. It's Monday morning again, and it's such a beautiful day outside. I love this time of year, although it's a bit of a mixed bag. You don't know what you're going to get. It could be rainy and cold. It could be sunny and bright and beautiful. It could be very hot, but whatever it is, I'm happy to receive it. I love to see the earth come alive again, and spring is sprung. So on this Monday morning, I want to tell you about my weekend. There were graduations in our community, eighth grade promotion and high school graduation, and a few preschool, pre-K graduations as well. And it's fun to see the pictures on Facebook and social media. It's so much fun this time of year. There are prom pictures, graduation pictures, all sorts of things. And I love that people are celebrating milestones and imagining what might come next. So it is a great weekend. Also, um, we got to celebrate grandson's fourth birthday yesterday, and that's special. You know, they are a delight, and I love them so much. So happy birthday, Riker. And Emberlyn's was in March, her second birthday, so always happy to spend time with them and celebrate them, spoil them a little bit. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about spiritual practices and beyond just the go sit and pray and go read your Bible. Do those things. I mean, do those things, but that there's more to spirituality and spiritual health and building our spiritual muscles than just doing that. And a lot of times we don't realize the things that are spiritual around us and you know, for me, I have the uh, an assumption that everything is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. Cleaning my bathroom is spiritual. It, taking out the garbage is spiritual. Driving down the road is spiritual. But anytime we connect all of our senses and our understanding and our thoughts and our actions, those are spiritual moments. But I want to give you some helpful activities that can be useful to you in developing your spiritual practice and your spiritual health. So I have five, five-ish, but the first would be, you know, the good old standby, start the day with centering prayer or meditation. And this doesn't have to be an hour long. It can be as long as you want it to be. And if you're new to this practice, you know, start short. Start with five minutes or 10 minutes or three minutes, but take time each morning to just be still and to say a prayer or just clear your mind completely and be still and I don't know, count how many breaths you take. Just being present in your body. For me, I really like the Reiki affirmations. Our Reiki is R-E-I-K-I. -I. Google that. Google Reiki affirmations. I really like these a lot. And they are, just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will not be angry. Just for today, I will do my work honestly with integrity. Just for today, I will be grateful in all things. Just for today, I will love my neighbor and all living things. What I love about that is it creates a mindset for me. Throughout the day when I find myself mm, something building up inside me and I'm getting a little angry or something, I can take a breath and remind myself, you know what, I can be angry about that tomorrow if it's still that important and that significant. But for today, just for today, I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to worry about it. And I love that. It just, it sets a perspective on who and how I want to be, but also gives me the grace that like, that reminds me, I'm not going to be able to maintain this forever. But for today, that's going to be my focus and my intent. So I'd recommend those again. Reiki affirmations will give you that list. Second, and this is from my friend Amy Giles. I love this exercise, but go outside, take a walk, as short or as long as you want it to be, and engage each of your senses along the way. So what do you see when you're out walking? 
What do your eyes take in? What do you find beautiful? What do you see that embodies that spirit of the divine or that holy spark? What do you see? Then what can you hear? Can you hear birds? Can you hear children playing? Can you hear the roar of a souped up engine? You know, whatever does it for you. What do you hear? Then what can you feel? You know, touch, touch the tree bark. Touch tree bark on different trees. There's so much difference between the trees. Touch the ground or a blade of grass or a leaf. Make sure you're not touching poison ivy though. Uh, but just touch something in nature. And then, um, where am I seeing, hearing, well tasting? Be careful with this one. Don't pick up a glob of dirt and eat it. Uh, sometimes I like to just taste the fresh air. You know what I mean? When you're walking along and you take a deep breath, you can just taste the freshness in the air. And then smell. There are a lot of flowers, a lot of trees, uh, so many things to smell. And sometimes the smells that we encounter aren't always pleasant, but you know, take it in anyway. And then finally, what am I missing here? Seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling. I think that's all five. So take a short walk or a long walk, any kind of walk, and engage all of your senses. So number three, take short spirit breaks throughout your day. Whether you're at a desk or working in a warehouse or uh, whatever you do throughout the day, take a little break here and there. Take a spirit break. And on the break, on those few moments, if you have like a 10 minute break, take a quick walk, but take a short spirit break throughout your day and maybe just breathe for a few minutes. Breathe in for four beats, hold it for four beats, exhale for four beats, and hold it for four beats. It's called box breathing. Just try something like that. Or stretch your body and take some deep breaths while you stretch your body. Uh, go outside and let the sun shine on you for five minutes. Uh, recount a prayer. And maybe you have prayers that are uh, traditional prayers that are written and handed down. Take a few moments to recite one of those prayers. But take little breaks throughout your day. Number four, gratitude. Take a few minutes each day or maybe do this on your spirit breaks. And... Find three things that you're grateful for in that moment. In that moment, what are you grateful for? Maybe it's air conditioning or a seat by a window or that you don't have to empty the garbage can. Whatever it is, find three things in the moment that you're grateful for. And then five, this one makes a significant difference in my life. A lot of times we have a question um, Something big might be on the horizon that we have to decide. We might need clarity on an issue. What I like to do with this, you know, when people say pray on it or meditate on it, okay, what does that mean? Well, here's how I do it. I take that question and I will sit still and quietly or I will take a walk. It, there's no magic in just being still. Sometimes it works just as well if you're moving your body, but know what works best for you and just focus on that question. Don't focus on the answer. Just focus on that question. If you're walking, you know, with every step, ask another word in the question. What should I do next? What should I do next? Or whatever your question is, just make it a part of your walking or make it a part of your sitting and meditating. Just clear out everything else but that question and focus Focus, focus, focus just on that question and ask for clarity. Ask for clarity. But don't seek out the answers in that meditation. Just ask for clarity on this question and just focus on that question. Sometimes I have a difficult time focusing, so I will write the question out on a piece of paper and I'll just hold that paper in my hands and sometimes, and then I'll touch my fingertips to my nose, and it just draws my attention to that question. 
and I'll hold that posture and I have to think about it and be present. My thoughts can't drift, drift off because I'm focusing on holding that posture. So if you're looking for clarity or looking for answers, that's a great way to ask the universe. And oh yeah, ask the universe, ask God to reveal some the next steps or for clarity or whatever you need around that question. And then be open. Be open to the many ways that you might begin to see some clarity or some answers to that. So those are my tips for you today. How to build those spiritual muscles, and they are muscles. Just like anything else in our body or in our minds, we have to work them out so that they can grow and develop. And this helps us to be more resilient. So when we do try hard things, or when we are in a season of adversity, these muscles are strong and they're growing and we can use them and they will see us through. So a quick recap, start the day with a meditation or prayer. I like the Reiki affirmations. That may be a good thing for you, may not, but check those out. Start the prayer, or start the day, with a prayer meditation. Two, do a five senses walk. Go out and encounter, be intentional about an encounter with each of your five senses as you're outside walking. Number three, take short spirit breaks through the day. You know, stretch your body, focus on breathing, recount the prayer that you like, one of those things, but take short breaks throughout the day and just be focused on that. Uh, number four, Gratitude, find three things in that moment that you're grateful for. Or number five, hold a question that you want some answers on or some clarity. Don't try to do all of these at once. Pick one that speaks to you and work on that. Just envelop or incorporate that into your day and see what difference that makes for you. So, you know, I didn't even mention who I am or what I do, most of you know me, some of you may not, but I'm Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor in Iliopolis in Niantic, and I am the pastor of the Christian churches there, Disciples of Christ. I also have founded Light Life and Love Ministries. This is an outreach ministry for those who are spiritual but not religious, or for those people of faith who may not have a church home at the moment, and the host of the podcast, Pursuing Uncomfortable. So I hope these were helpful for you. Comment below which one you want to give a try and let's work those spiritual muscles. I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.